Well, we all talk about left stick dribbling being too strong and control sprint being OP. We have almost forgotten about the skill moves, which have a huge impact in tight situations. How many skill moves do you currently use in the game? My point exactly. With today's video, I'm going to be giving you our top 5 advanced skill moves so that you realize what kind of an impact you can create with them before you completely forget about them. Since defending is relatively harder this year, advanced skill moves can completely bust your opponent. Let's start with the heal to ball roll. Heal to ball roll is a 4 star skill move that allows you to protect the ball and change its direction at the same time. It also gives you a little push once you execute it and it's a very dangerous tool if you use it in a correct spot. To be able to perform a heal to ball roll, simply hold the L1 or LB button and push the right analog stick once towards your player's front side and right afterwards towards his back. Compared to the normal heal to heal, this skill move slightly changes the angle while pushing the ball forward. That could help you dodge a defender who is directly coming from your frontal side. This slight angle change also creates new ways to pass or shoot. That is why I tend to use it while either going vertical or horizontal to the goal. One very important thing to add here is that you can select if you're either going to exit the move from your left or right side. Make sure to point out the direction with your left analog stick right after you give the original input of the move. Identifying the defensive threat directly from the front side of my player, I also see the free space towards the side. That is where I execute the heel to ball roll, dodge the defender's challenge and get myself into the open space. I bet there are tons of mechanics like this that you can remind yourself of, but you don't need to worry about it since we have been publishing lessons about every single mechanic. That is why our application The Guide Plus is a very useful FC24 learning tool. In the Guide Plus, you can find in-depth tutorials, structured courses and track your progress on the topics you mostly struggle with. Our interactive quizzes will also keep you up to date anytime. If you're interested, make sure to check the links in the description and see what the next level learning offers by yourself. Moving on to the next one, which is probably my most beloved skill throughout all titles, the 3 touch roulette. As the name of this 4 star skill move declares, your player touches the ball 3 times to change the ball's direction and while doing so, he shields the ball away from the defender while putting his body in between. Holding onto the L2, LT button and pushing the right analog stick first towards your player's back and then either towards your player's left or right will allow you to execute this move. This move becomes really efficient whenever the opponent tries to make a physical contact while overcommitting towards one direction. Executing the move will allow you to dodge this contact while changing the ball's direction exactly towards the other side. Here in a tight spot, I see that the opponent has to switch to his other defender to cover the space ahead of me. Knowing that, I want to turn the direction around and with the 3-touch roulette, I put my body in between, blocking any kind of a defensive move that the opponent can go for, change direction and get a clear angle to shoot. Our next move will be a bit more complicated and has two variations. Yes, I'm talking about the Elastico, which is a 5-star skill move. This move allows you to change the ball's direction 90 degrees by pushing it twice with the same foot. Normal Elastico is the move where your player pushes the ball initially towards forward and then towards the side. You can perform this move by pushing the right analog stick first towards your player's right and then rotating it 90 degrees clockwise. Elastico is really strong whenever a defender tries to tackle the ball in carelessly. Reverse Elastico is exactly the opposite. Your player pushes the ball initially towards forward, followed by a little touch with the outside of his foot, which will change the direction of the ball. The input is also reversed, so that means you push the right analog stick first towards your player's left and then rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise. I use the reverse elastico whenever I want to make a sharp turn around the defender who is trying to safely contain the current situation or makes a direct move towards me. A short but clear example here. I receive the ball inside the box, see that the opponent is making a direct move towards me and I see the clear path with this light angle that I can use to dodge him. Perfect situation for a reverse elastico. As I do the move, the opponent also gambles and gets away from me and the sharp turn of the elastico creates a direct goal scoring opportunity for me which ends up with a goal. Crystal clear. Another valuable information for the input is that it depends on the strong foot of the player. The default input gets reversed if the player is left footed, so watch out for that. With these skill modes, the game gets more fun, but don't think we're done yet. FC24 gets even juicier with the new skill moves. In fact, the Flare Nutmeg is one of them and you can completely destroy your opponent with its variations. To be able to execute a Flare Nutmeg, you need players with 4-star skill moves. Hold on to your L1, R1 or LB and RB buttons together and push the right analog stick towards the exit direction you desire. Depending on that exit direction, you can perform this move towards the side, backwards or forward. However, my favorite one is the one which you execute directly towards the side. Because with the animation, you pull the ball back towards you and then push it towards your side way. That can achieve multiple things such as creating new running or passing lanes. I mostly use this variation whenever I have an obvious option to play to. That could be a pass or dribble. 
If the opponent overcommits towards that option and doesn't come too close to you, you can execute this variation and change the ball's direction rapidly. As seen in the example, make the opponent believe that you're about to go in a certain direction, he will overcommit to it, and using the flare nutmeg you can create other options in which you can get really dangerous. Last but definitely not the least, one of my favorite moves this year, the drag the heel, which is again another 4 star skill move. In the previous years, I found it really hard to work with and it was kind of a useless skill move for me, but this year it is very powerful since it allows you to make a very sharp turn and if the defender overcommits beforehand, you have a very decent chance of getting past him. To be able to execute this move, hold on to your L1, LB button and push the right analog stick first towards your player's back and then either towards his left or right. I mainly use this move on the wing where I have the speed and the luxury of running forward. This way I force the defender think, okay, this guy's gonna run forward and because of this, he will overcommit to that running lane. The drag to heal allows me to change the ball's direction rapidly and at the end of the move, I can both dodge the defender and gain a good acceleration. The move can also be used inside the box to create chances. Let's see an example. I get the ball with my striker outside the box and have a clear running lane ahead of me. As I dribble forward, the opponent has to overcommit to my running lane to catch me and I use this against him, execute the drag to heal to the direction he is coming from and easily dodge him with it, which creates a perfect angle to shoot and I score the goal. I think today's video gave you a lot of mechanics to work on. Practice makes perfect, so take your time, learn all of these skill moves and dominate your opponents. In case these are too advanced for you, you can always start with the simple ones too. We had it all planned and already given you our top 5 basic skill moves video, which also appears on your screen right now. If you haven't watched it already, this is not a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care and peace.